Hello again. My name is Philip, and I'm the Education Coordinator at the Cape Elizabeth Land Trust. Today, I'm going to be making a snow gauge. A snow gauge is a device you can use to measure the depth of snow. And while scientists use some pretty complicated devices with funnels and collection tubes that melt the snow and weigh it, I'm going to do something pretty simple. It's a way that I did this growing up, um, and I think it's a way that you can do it too. So, for this activity, you're going to need a couple simple items. First off, you need some way to measure an inch. I have a ruler, a yardstick works too, a uh, tape measure would work fine. Even you might be able to print something out online that shows you what an inch is. There could be a lot of different options, but all you need is some way to measure an inch. Second, you're going to need some sort of marking device. A Sharpie works perfectly. Um, a pencil is a good backup option. It's a little harder to write, um, but it will get the job done. The most important thing is you don't want something that's going to bleed if it gets wet. So meaning we don't want the ink to run if it gets wet. Third, you're going to need some sort of colorful devices. I'm using this bright neon duct tape. This is sort of the perfect option, but if you have other colored tape, um, or even if you have other colors of Sharpies, those can work well. Again, the one thing is that these will get wet, so you want something that's going to be able to withstand a little bit of moisture. Last but not least, we need our actual gauge. I'm going to be using this garden stick stake, um, or I should say I'm going to be converting this garden stake into a, rain, a snow gauge. But you could use other options. You could use a stake for marking your driveway to show the plow where to go. You could even probably use a stick you find in the woods. The most important thing is it just needs to be tall enough that you can put it into the ground and have some height that won't get completely covered in snow. Now down here in southern Maine, this should do. But if you're in northern Maine or farther north than that, um, you might have to get a little more creative and find something a little bit longer. So those are the things you need. Um, some way to measure an inch, some sort of writing utensil, some way to make mark colors, and some sort of stake. The first thing I'm going to do is take the bottom of my stake and mark where zero will be. So this part of the stake is going to end up hammered into the ground, and I'm going to put my zero line around here. We don't have to measure anything yet. I'm just going to use my Sharpie and sort of mark this line. And I'm going to put a little zero on there as well. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to use my ruler to go ahead and mark out a couple different distances. So I'm going to line this up, and I'm just going to mark on the corner of the stake. Again, if you're not using something that's rectangular, you might it might be a little trickier, but it can be done. And I'm going to go along and I'm going to mark, there's one inch, two, three, four. Okay, that's one foot done. I'm going to make a mark here that this is one foot. And then I'm going to do it again. All right, so I've marked out my distances onto this stake. Um, it was almost actually exactly three feet. So there's almost let's see yeah almost exactly one inch more than three feet left on the stake so that's all the marking we're gonna have to do for now i'm gonna put those away and now we're gonna get out our colorful options so the idea of these colors is to make it easy to see these markings you know you can barely read these right now imagine if this is out in my yard and i'm trying to see it from my window it would be impossible but the way we make up for that is we use these colors to make it easier to see where the markings are. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cover up the markings because it's still useful to be able to see them. Um, but I'm going to take a piece of each of my different colors of duct tape and I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to go orange, pink, green, orange, pink, green in that order all the way up the stake. So there's my first piece. Now I'm going to line this up so that the top aligns with where my number two starts. And like I said, I'm leaving those marks visible, 
just because I want to be able to refer back to them in the future if need be. And then I'm going to go ahead and just use that tape and wrap it around. And I don't want to cover up my marks, so I'm going to rip off a little bit of this excess tape. And there we go. One done. Now you can probably already tell that orange is going to be a lot easier to see out in the yard than those little tiny sharpie marks. Okay, and I'm going to keep alternating all the way down the stake. Okay, and we're good to go. So on this side, I can still see all my measurements from zero all the way up to three feet. Um, and if I turn it around, I get this really even set of bands, which I can watch and use to tell where the snow falls. And so the idea is once this is out in the snow, we can tell you know if it's covered up one band that that's two inches. Because remember, we put these every two marks on the gauge. So That'd be two inches, four inches, six inches, maybe even eight inches, maybe even 10 inches, depending where you are in Maine today. Uh, all right, so now that we have our snow gauge all marked out, um, we're pretty much ready to go. All that's left is to take this outside and put it in the ground so that the zero is at the ground level. Now you might be wondering, how am I possibly going to be able to tell that the snow is only at two inches instead of eight inches? They're both orange. The answer is that you've got to count down from the top. So remember, I said that my stake is three feet tall. It's going to be important for you to also remember how tall your stake is. Maybe write it down on a sticky note, post it by the window near where you're going to put the gauge out. That's what matters. So I've converted my garden stake into a snow gauge. It's three feet tall. I've got a different color every two inches so that I can tell just by looking out the window how much snow has fallen. The last thing to do is to place this out in the yard. 